Hey you guys, welcome back to another day in the life of a writer vlog. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I thought it was time to get one up and running for you guys. I have some news for you guys regarding the book companion journal about possibly getting it into schools. I'm talking brand deals and I'm finalizing a bunch of the little things for the release of Between Us. Plus I'm sharing my breakfast, my juicing and all the things that I do in the morning. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around. Hey Google, play Disney music. Okay, here's Disney music on YouTube. So what I'm doing this morning is just making my normal juice. I've shared this recipe a few times before. If you guys are interested in it, just leave me a comment below asking me for it and I'll share all the details with you guys. Along with the juice, I made my husband and myself uh, avocado and tomato toast for breakfast this morning. It was a nice light breakfast and as you can see in the background, I have some Disney music playing and it was playing on YouTube so it was also playing videos which I loved. When we finished, it was time to clean up the kitchen. Uh, we had had some snacks the night before and I didn't get around to doing the dishes. So my sink was actually a little full and I needed to start my dishwasher. So I just took the time because I cannot sit down to do any work if my kitchen is a mess. So I wanted to get that over with. So that's what I'm doing now. Let me know which is your favorite chore to do at home. I actually don't mind the dishes as much. I hate doing laundry with a passion, but dishes, they don't bother me. So let me know in the comments below which is your favorite and which do you hate the most. It's finally time to get to work, but before I do that, I'm actually sharing on Instagram that I am vlogging, and um, that's usually what I do every morning is share my mornings with Instagram, letting you guys know what I'm up to. Usually I'm working out, but lately I haven't been able to. Now this has been part of my morning routine for a couple years now and it's basically the mantra cards from The Universe Has You Back and I just shuffle them like this and I pick a card and I usually share this also on Instagram every morning. What I do is I write whatever I pick out on my journal and I basically use that as an inspiration for the day to just remind me of where I should be heading, where my mind should be. So if you guys don't have something like this, I highly, highly encourage you to get these cards. They are beautiful, inspiring. And if you are interested, I will leave the link to get them on Amazon in the description box below. And now it's time to visualize and the reason I'm pulling out my bullet journal is because that's where I did my vision board this year. If you guys missed that video, I will link it here for you guys. So I really like this method this year of creating my vision board on this book because I look at this book all the time. So it's perfect time for me to just set aside some time and just focus on my yearly or in my case quarterly goals. So I did want to tell you guys a couple things about the book journal. Number one, the cover has been updated on Amazon. So if you've been looking for the journal, which used to look like this, now it looks like this because it's been updated 
on Amazon. So this is what the new cover looks like. And what I wanted, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've been looking into getting the book in schools. I think it will be something really good that all English departments can offer to their students. So I've been doing a lot of research on what exactly it means and how to do it and how to go about it. A few weeks back, I did a video on how to create a media kit. There's a certain media kit, a one pager that you send to the schools with your product information on there and you send it to the head of the department Department. For example, you figure out what schools you want to send it to. You find out who's the head of the English department. For me, in my case, it would be the English department, obviously. And then I can send them that letter directly. I think they said it's better if you send the mail versus email them. So I'm not 100% sure. As soon as I learn more about it, I will definitely update you guys. But that is essentially what i want to start looking into is creating that one sheet that i can send to the head of the english departments and the schools that i am trying to target now the only problem is that i learned that let's say they do want the book they fall in love with it and they want to place an order you actually have to pay that up front and then they pay you obviously if you do public schools you will get paid you're not going to get screwed or anything however from what I've learned, it could take up to three months to get that payment. And this particular person that I was learning from, he said that he ended up getting an order for like $7,000. So he had it upfront that, and it took him like three months to get that back. So it was kind of like, Whoa, that's a lot of money. So that I would have to, you know, do upfront. So I have to tread lightly. I can't go crazy. I mean, it would be amazing to get such an amazing order from schools and knowing that a lot of students will be uh, using the journal and I would be like, that would make me really, really happy. So, but I just have to work all the things out. So I'll let you guys know as it goes, you know, I'll update you how I'm doing. Maybe I'll show you how I created that one sheet and how I contacted the schools and you know if I hear back from anybody so I don't know but for now I'm just gonna go and start updating between us because I got a message about all the little things you know quotation marks missing from some places and you know little typos and things like that so I'm gonna go fix that now and yeah so let's get to it So going for a walk, I just finished editing the novel and when I get back I'm going to re-upload it to KDP and that's it. It's officially done done so I'm super excited about that and I'm going for a walk because like I said I can't work out because my back hurts so walking is where it's at. <laughs> Hi baby! Hi! Hi. <laughs> and it's cloudy again. The sun only lasted for a few minutes. Hey. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> it's just a little windy outside. <laughs> oh my god. And hold on, let me fix my hair. I had to put my husband's sweater on. It's so freaking cold i cannot you guys i literally cannot deal with this weather i cannot stand it <sighs> anyways back home oh, nice and warm i can take my sweater my husband's sweater off i'll leave my other sweater on but <sighs> back to work so what i'm doing here is going through the manuscript and getting rid of all the little extra spaces that there are between paragraphs i know there's a formula that you could insert there in the navigation finder and just do it all at once but it makes me nervous so i actually do it one by one just to make sure that it's done properly <laughs>
Hello. Proof has lines on the side. This is me talking to Amazon. When I printed the proof of Between Us, it had some weird random lines throughout the entire book and I wanted to call them and find out if it was my error or theirs. And it turns out it was theirs. Okay, so I just got off the phone with them. I did send them the pictures of how the book showed up. So they said that it was an error on their part on the printing. So they're giving me a full refund. And now what I'm getting ready to do is upload the manuscript with the, all the final edits. This is it. It is officially done as far as that part is concerned. And um, they did give me a little bit of an advice because when I uploaded the manuscript to Amazon, I did upload a Word document. They said to upload it as a PDF. So our food's done. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is converting it to from Word to PDF, uploading it to Amazon. I'm gonna order my final proof and this is it. It should be done. So what I'm doing here is just going through Kindle's print viewer just to make sure everything looks good and everything did. So I went ahead and approved that. That was the print version. Now I'm converting it to Kindle or to Mobi file. So I went for that. I went to draft to digital. And what I'm doing here is just making sure that all my links are properly working and some of them weren't. So I went, I had to go back in and fix that, but at the end, it all worked out good. So once I did that, I went back into KDP, uploaded the Mobi file, also did the viewer there to make sure everything looked perfect, and it did, and the book is officially ready to go out into the world to everyone, not just ARCs, it is officially done. So I switched rooms just for a minute because my husband is working on something on my computer really quick. So I wanted to come in here and just talk to you about the brand deal that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. I haven't really gone after working with brands, um, honestly, because I don't know too much about it. And I've been so focused on my writing career that I haven't really spent too much time in that arena. And... I have gotten a couple emails about uh, promoting other people's courses and things like that. So, but I haven't really uh, said yes to that because I wasn't feeling it. And I really don't want to promote anything that I don't know anything about myself. I don't want to just say yes to something. So the, I've done two sponsor deals and actually three, three. The first one I did, they sent me a watch. It was a beautiful watch and if I can find a picture of it, I'll insert it and all they wanted me to do was do a blog about it and promote it on my Instagram, which I did and I know where that picture is so I'll, shit, I'll pop it up here. And I really fell in love with the watch so I had no problem doing that. The second one was I received candles and um, I was really, really new on YouTube and I really didn't know how to do it so I feel really bad because I don't feel like I gave that brand, even though I fell in love with the product, I don't feel like I gave them a good enough ad. Um, so I do feel bad about that. So I think that kind of scared me and I stepped back a little bit from actually seeking out brands and you know working that way. But this particular brand just reached out to me and it's a, um, I have to learn more about it. I don't know if I'm gonna go to, I don't even know if I'm gonna do it. And I'll, of course, I'll share all the details with you guys here. And it's basically a desk, one of those desks that stand up. They want to um, send me one of those and for me to review it. And I'll get all the details soon, but I will reach out to them now. That's what I'm planning on doing as soon as my husband's done with my computer. I'm going to reach out to them and then we'll see where it goes. But I just did want to touch base on that whole brand deal thing because I've never done it before and I wanted to give you guys an update as to where I stand on that because uh, just like everybody on YouTube, I don't want to promote anything that I don't stand behind, that I haven't used before, that I'm not comfortable with. So if I love it, if they send it to me and I love it and everything goes good, then you will definitely see a review of that desk here. I don't want to tell you exactly what desk it is and what company it is and because there's many different ones. Um, I just 
literally got their email this morning and I was really excited to share that with you guys. So I'll let you guys know all the details soon, but right now I gotta go back to work. All right, you guys, I was actually going to do a plan with me. I had this whole uh, plan for the day that I was going to do March, but this video took me a lot longer to record and to edit. So I did not get around to doing a plan with me for March, but I am doing that this weekend and the video will go live on Monday. If you love plan with me on bullet journal, make sure you stick around. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure you do so on your way out and remember to leave me a comment below letting me know what your favorite chores are and what you hate the most and if you have any questions regarding self-publishing especially with kindle or kdvp or draft to digital let me know all your questions below and until next time stay 